hey guys welcome back to my channel so okay I have I have a few things I want to talk about today don't worry there is makeup involved first I got eyelash extensions that was really cheesy and I'm okay with it but I love them the process I literally just got them done a few hours ago um I don't usually do eyelashes because a I'm not very good at it I'm not even gonna lie I am not very good at it B if I do mess it up it messes up my entire look when I take them off C if I don't like the eyelashes I picked and I take them off it messes up my entire look it's just a whole ordeal as to why I don't like putting falsies on. And the thing is, I have a mil I have a drawer full of false lashes, which I'm probably going to have to just clean out and give away. But, um, yeah. So, I went and got false lashes. Also, I'm thinking of getting Botox on my forehead. I know it's weird to see me without any makeup. I'm not putting makeup on today because... I really irritated my skin last night and it was my own fault so uh, we'll get into that in a second but I do want to come on here and I want to talk about a few products that I've bought recently that I have fallen in love with um and then I also want to talk about like some possible upcoming videos and get your thoughts and get your feedback and see how y'all feel and if y'all want to take a little journey with me. So first thing is the eyelashes. I'm you're supposed to get a fill every two to four weeks depending on how they like how long how quickly your eyelashes grow and etc etc etc. So if you want to come with me and meet the amazing girl who did them her name is Taylor. She is also a New Orleans Saints cheerleader, as well as a teacher. And she's just, she's an amazing girl. She's very sweet. So if you want to go with me when I go get a fill, we can do a whole video about that. Um, also, the Botox. If you want to go with me on that journey, we can. Um, I'm really nervous. I haven't set an exact date yet. But yeah, I'm, I'm really nervous about it. I talked to my husband and he was like, I mean, if you really feel you need it, which I do, like I have lines and they're right here. And then I have lines right here. And I just, I want to get a jump on it now. Like I've seen the elasticity of my face improve with skincare products I am using, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If you want to go down that journey with me, you can. Um... And I'm really honest when it comes to pain. So if it hurts, oh honey, I'm going to tell you it hurts. But yes, yeah, so if that's something y'all want to see, we can do that. Also, <sighs> I'm considering microblading for my eyebrows. And here is why. I hate, with a passion, I hate doing my eyebrows. Like, I hate it. 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 Um, like, don't get me wrong. I have products like the Too Faced Chocolate Brownie Pencil. That's the spooky side. I do this every day. I go to do my eyebrows. I do this. I always, like, go, okay, time to put my brows on. Spooky. I love this. It has a nice tilted edge. And it also has a hair on there. Freaking. I, I keep getting MAC hair everywhere. I love this. Um, it's cruelty free. It smells like chocolate. I, I love it. I have no complaints about it. But like my eyelashes, I just. However, if you don't want to get eyelash extensions, I have a mascara that I highly recommend. This is the Tarte's Light Camera Lashes. Lights Camera Lashes, I'm sorry. Not only is your packaging gorgeous, but this wand is amazing and the funny thing is this mascara is the entire reason i was like i want false lashes like i want them okay um, 
But enough about that. Let's get to some makeup. Okay. So I have a few products here that I recently got and I have fallen in love with. First up is the Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. Um, it's cruelty free. They have a cucumber, a rose, and a coconut. In the event you don't like coconut, they have two others. I like this. It has a nice, good spray on it. I have coffee right in front of me. I literally just dropped it in my coffee. Gross. Oh, man. Hope y'all got a good laugh out of that. As I'm like, I don't want to spray it in my coffee. Plop. Okay. So, I don't use this just as primer or as my only primer. What I like to do is after I wash my face and I moisturize and everything, I have been going in with a spritz or two and then going in with, you have guessed it, my Tarte primer. Um... Another primer I have started really liking is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Luminous Primer. It's not very pore filling. I'm going to go ahead and warn you now. And it's not so much that it's like dewy, but it is very luminous. It's something I have been obsessed with lately. Now for setting spray, the Milani Make It Dewy. This, especially when I was sick the other day, gave my face like a nice, healthy, natural looking glow. Um, it has caffeine in it, water. I'm looking to see if it has oil in it. I don't see oil. Watermelon, watermelon fruit extract. My face looked really shimmery. I was like, why do I look so shimmery? And I thought it might be the setting spray, but there's no glitter in it. Probably because I used the dewy finish, the dewy setting or primer, and I was like, why do I look so shimmery? Um, this shouldn't really surprise anyone. I got the sample size because I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it, and I didn't want to spend $50 on it. I should have known I was gonna love it. I should have known. But this is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Um, it says, shake gently, spray two to three spritzes onto face for a boost of hydration, glow, under or over makeup. I've actually just been using this in the morning after I wash my face and after I moisturize, whether I'm wearing makeup or not. That's kind of been my thing lately. Hey, something else. I got another foundation, as if I needed another foundation, but I got another foundation. This is the Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation from Smashbox. It is a light to medium coverage, super buildable, with a like natural finish. And y'all, I love it. I wanted to try the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation, but they didn't have my shades. So I was like, you know what? Let's try this because I wanted something that wasn't Too Faced because I need to step out of my Too Faced like comfort zone, but I wanted something that wasn't Too Faced, wasn't matte because everything on my counter right now is matte except my board this way and I'm pretty much out of it. Like I'm pretty much out of it. I think I have like maybe two or three uses left, but I wanted something that wasn't matte wouldn't dry my skin out because New Orleans weather right now is so up and down and you can see my skin is like having a nervous breakdown. So there's that. Um, you saw in my last video, I got my secret Santa and I've been using the Tarte, ignore the scratch in it. I like scratch my brush in it, but this is the rose gold blush and glow. This blush has very quickly become my favorite. The highlight is very, very subtle. This is very quickly becoming just like a favorites video. All right, so let's talk eyeliner real quick. I have one eyeliner that I've been reaching for a lot and like I need to replace it. This is the Tarte Man Eater Eyeliner. The line really small or you can make it really thick. And it's... It stays put, 
It's a great eyeliner. I love it. Obviously, a favorite is my Tarte Clean Slate Timing Smoothing Primer. It's amazing. It fills in pores. It fills in lines. It's, it's just great. I just love it. Yeah, okay. Let's touch on skincare for a second so I can move some of this out of my way. To wash my face, I can't use it now because of my lashes. Well, I probably can if I just, like, avoid my eyes. This is the Pacifica Coconut Dissolve. It gets every single ounce of makeup off my face, and I love it. Um, I have recently been washing my face at night after I use the Coconut Dissolve because I don't want, like, a whole bunch of oil just sitting on my skin. This is the Sea Foam Complete Face Wash. It is a very little goes a very long way with it as well. And then in the mornings, I've been scrubbing with the Crystal Bright Foaming Scrub. Just no complaints. Like, I have no complaints about it. And then at night, actually, you know what? And then after I wash my face, I apply some e.l.f. Hydrating Water Essence. You put a little bit on your skin, you let it absorb, and then you go in with either a serum or a moisturizer, and it just, it helps soak up whatever you're putting in your, on your skin next. And at night, that is the Pacifica Crystal Lit Moon Oil, and then I followed up with the Pacifica Wake Up Beautiful, Beautiful Sleeping Mask. Now... I have a few things for a daytime. Today, like when I'm doing my whole no makeup look, I go in with my Pacifica Seafoam. Then I do the e.l.f. And then I will go in with one of these, if not both. I got the sample sizes because I wasn't sure if I was going to like them. This is the Milk Cooling Water Essence Stick. And I don't know. It's the cooling water stick. I've been putting it under my eyes to help like hydrate them, depuff them. And it's been working wonders. And then this is the Milk Makeup Watermelons Brightening Stick. And let me tell y'all, I'm, I'm going to have to go buy the big versions of these because I love them. My face is just absorbing all of this moisture and I just, I live for it. Now, if I'm using these for my no makeup day, I will go in with the Tarte Maracuja oil all over my face. And then I'll put the vitamin C eye treatment on my eyes. And... I might put brows on, I might not, but that's usually my face when I don't want makeup. And then just for that extra boost of hydration, morning and night, I go in with the Pacifica Crystal Power Hydro Mist. Now, if I'm putting makeup on, I go in with the Juice Beauty uh, Stem Cellular Face Serum. And then I mix these two every other day. I do not do this every day. I will go in with, this is the Pearl Essence Radiance Perfecting Serum with vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. It's very thick. It's a very, very thick serum. I will do one drop and I will mix it in with my Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Moisturizer and then I'll spritz my face with this. Let all of that absorb into my skin before I go and put like primer and all that good stuff on. <clears throat> okay, so that is my face. Literally, that is what I do every morning and night. It's ridiculous, I know, but I like it. My face has been looking better with the exception of last night because I do what I, I did last night, what I tell everyone in my entire like life, everyone that like sees me without makeup, they're like, oh my God, you look so nice without makeup. You don't need makeup. What do you do? And I tell them every time I wash my face morning and night, I never sleep in makeup. And guess what I did last night? I was so tired. I came home, I ate food and I slept 
I slept in my makeup. Yeah, I did that. That was a thing. I did it. I'm not proud of myself, but I did it. Let's go on the setting powders real quick. I only have two. I have narrowed down every setting powder I've ever bought to two. First up is the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. I like it. It sets my makeup. My makeup lasts all day. However, it is pretty mattifying. And, yeah. Like, it doesn't have a strong scent. It doesn't, like, my makeup will literally last all day long. However, recently I have been reaching for this more than my Too Faced. And that's saying something because I reached for Too Faced every single day. This is the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Loose Setting Powder. It is matte, but it blurs my entire face. It makes my entire face look flawless. And if I go over it with the Make It Dewy, I just have that natural glow without looking oily or without looking too dry. It's just, I love this powder. I was debating when I got it, I was debating on it and the, um, the Becca hydrating powder because I wanted a powder that was going to blur and set without making me super matte. And that is that powder. Just saying it's amazing. And I love it. Okay. So as y'all know, to contour or bronze, I use the Physi Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer or the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Well, I picked up this gem. This is the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer, and this is the shade Saddle. It is a great bronzer, but it is also a great contour. It does not go on patchy. It is matte, which you might not be able to see very well on top of shimmers. It is a great bronzer. It blends out flawlessly. Flawlessly. So I love that. This is the Wet n Wild I'm So Lit. I'm just going to show you. That's what the top looks like. And this is You Glow Girl. Do these shades look familiar to you? They should. So the I'm So Lit is, I guess they're now like staple uh, Moon Tears. It is Moon Tears. I, I must have swatched it 20 times on my hand next to Moon Tears the other day. When I saw this, I got super excited because I couldn't get my hands on their Astro their Zodiac collection to save my life. And I really wanted that loose highlighter. Well, now I have it. That is You Glow Girl. And, I mean, it's wet and wild. It's affordable. It's not going to break the bank. And those just, just look at those colors. They are just, ugh. Oh, I wish I could put them on my face right now. Because I love them. And they're gorgeous. Um, I have something to show y'all. And y'all are going to think I'm the craziest, weirdest person in the world. And I'm okay with it. Come on. Come on. Y'all, are you ready? Can you see him? Okay, ready? Mac has a onesie. I bought Mac a onesie. You have a onesie. I know. It's been getting really cold here lately. Hi, puppy. And he has a jacket and a sweater, but he's outgrown most of his clothes. So I went puppy clothes shopping for him today. And I got him a little onesie. And it's I'm so happy that I found it because with his like body shape, it's hard to find a onesie that fits him. It's my puppy. That's my puppy. Yes, you're on camera now. You're on camera now. Okay, but that is today's video. If y'all, hold on, let me put him down. Get down, baby. Okay, 
So if y'all are interested in doing the whole journey with me on Botox and y'all want to see like the process of an eyelash extension refill, let me know in the comments if and when I do micro, not even if, when I do microblading, if that's something y'all want to see the process of and the healing of blah, 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 blah. Also, let me know down in the comments and we can make these videos happen because I know for me, I'm one of those people like I want to see what I'm getting into before I do it. So if y'all want to go through the journey of my beautification, let me know in the comments and I will see you guys next time. I'm going to go ahead and go cook dinner. Go watch Riverdale in Grey's Anatomy, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.